Hi, good morning my little friends, I miss you all. Today we will talk about decimals. Do you still remember them? Well, I will remind you. Here I have a chocolate bar. Of how many pieces? Let's see. It is formed of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces. I will take one piece only. This is the tenth. It is formed of one piece, only one piece out of ten equal or identical pieces. This is the tenth. If I take another one, then now I have two tenths. Another one, then I have three tenths. Now I have one chocolate bar and three tenths. So it is one point three. Or let, let me put it in another way. This is complete chocolate bar. And these are three tenths. The corresponding decimal is one point three. So we have one complete bar of chocolate and three small pieces. So let's write it as a decimal number. It is one corresponding to complete chocolate bar and three pieces, three small pieces. Each one of these pieces corresponds to one tenth. So we have three tenths. So how to recognize these? How can we separate them? We will use the decimal point. This is the decimal point. It, it separates the complete numbers of chocolate bars and the number of pieces. So we have one complete bar, it is one. And three small pieces or three tenths, this is, these are the three tenths. Okay? What is meant by one hundredth? Again, I have another bar of chocolate. It is formed of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces again. Now I will take only one piece. As we agreed before, this is one tenth. Can you see it? Can you see how much small it is? This is one tenth. Now, this one tenth, if I can divide it into ten equal pieces, each small piece is called one hundredth. Look how small, look how very small is the one hundredth. So, if I can cut it into very small piece, this is much bigger than one hundredth. I want you to, to know how much is small the hundredth.